Hi. So in this video, we are going to talk about the cardinal number of a set. Cardinal number is nothing but the number of distinct element of the set. So suppose if I have a set like A is equal to the set of all the vowels that is A, E, I, O and U. So what will be the cardinal number of this set A? It is actually represented as N of A. This is called the cardinal number of A and it will be equal to the number of distinct element of this set. So how many elements are there? Here we have five elements. So N of A or the cardinal number of set A will be five, right? And suppose if I have a set B and it is defined as the letters of word floor, F L double O R. Suppose this is the word, then how you write this set? This set will have 1F, 1L, 1O and 1R. This we have discussed earlier. When we write a set, we don't repeat the elements. And otherwise also, while calculating the cardinal number or while finding the cardinal number of a set, we omit the repeating elements, right? So in this case, the cardinal number of B, that is N of B, will be equal to 1, 2, 3 and 4. We have only 4 elements in this set, right? Yes. And what will be the cardinal number of phi? N of phi. Phi is what? Phi is null set. And so N of phi will actually be 0 because null set is a set which doesn't have any element, right? And what will be the cardinality of a singleton set? So the cardinal number of a singleton set, if I define a set C is equal to 5, which has only one element, then the cardinal number of C will be 1, right? So the cardinal number of null set is 0 and the cardinal number of a singleton set is actually 1. Yes, it is very simple and it is very useful by solving the problems related to set theory. Right? And what is the cardinal number of an infinite set? The cardinal number of infinite set is actually not defined. You cannot find the cardinal number for an infinite set. So to find the cardinal number of a set, the set has to be a finite set. Yes, null set and singleton set, they are also finite set because null set has zero elements and singleton set has only one element. So this is all about the cardinal number of a set. There are many identities based on this cardinal number, which we are going to discuss in the further videos. So keep watching MathSmart and bye-bye till then.